you know, coming into Alaska in 1996, I didn't understand the cultures. And within the first year of trying to develop local employees from the villages, it became real obvious that, that we're having some issues in trying to uh, integrate multi multicultural workforces. We had a horrendous turnover rate in the first year. We had over 320% turnover. And at that time, it would have been real easy to just throw your hands up and say, well, you know, this just isn't gonna work. But we didn't. We went out, we, we interviewed folks that voluntarily terminated and sat down with them and, and talked to them about what is it can, that we can do to make this environment a work environment in which you want to be a part of. Things like teamwork, family, strong connections to the land, all of those kind of things. If you take those strengths and build from that, you can incorporate what we call a soft skills or employability skills program based on who you're working with. We don't, we don't change the workplace to accommodate the culture we blend the two together to, pro to provide a successful work environment. We have a lot of people showing up here at camp that have no idea what we're doing. But when they walk in and see some of this equipment that's sitting outside, they know that they're gonna get to sit in it. It's not gonna be a classroom uh, environment. We get people that have no experience, no job experience at all. We get people that have had some job experience, some bad job experience and so forth, so we get all different sorts of students in here. The, to me, the best people in the world are mining people. And if they're showing up here for a month away from their families, and, their, and uh, then that tells me they want to be a miner. And so that 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 50% of it right there. Um, soft skills, I, I learned a lot, about, not just about work, but about myself. Um, about how much, how much self-esteem this this, com or this program has given me, because I, I couldn't have stood here and started talking to somebody I did not know, don't know, or in front of a camera. And soft skills gave me leadership skills. Like when I first came into this training, I was not as mature as I am right now. Like this conversation could have went a whole different way if this was the first couple of weeks. So like they do a real lot of work on just working on yourself out here. It's really helpful. And, it helps you, you know, get on with life. It makes it a lot easier. You learn quite a bit about uh, teamwork, safety, and just family life, and how how it all fits together. I'm actually honored to do this course. I feel I feel more confident in myself and all the training that we've learned. Uh, when I first got here, I didn't. Uh, I had no underground mine experience at all. I've been on a couple tours, and so I was pretty intimidated by the jack leg work and just being underground, you know, not knowing what to do. But after the training, everything, I had good instructors, and I'm, uh, my confidence is at all time high. Even if you came with a background in construction or a background in mining, they're going to let you actually work the machines. You're going to actually have the chance to see what it's like, and you're going to see people who have operated it for years successfully show you how to do it. Everything they taught us was very specific and uh, I'm, I'm ready to work. I'm, I'm, as soon as I leave there, I'll be, I'm already looking for work. I never thought I'd be here working underground. I had no knowledge of what they expect when they got here. They're actually doing the hands-on and um, I feel pretty comfortable being told what to do and how to identify it and uh, the proper safety precautions we take. And, uh, I think it's a really great program and I learned a lot from it. I'm sure we all did. It's not an easy program. We had to work really hard to graduate. You know, they didn't just hand us our diplomas. We had to work for it, but it was totally worth it. I would recommend this course to anybody that would want to be here. It's a very good facility for training. The instructors are very, very awesome. And I would recommend this to anyone. Leadership part is great and self-confidence, gave me self-confidence, a lot of that. Uh, I'm ready for the future. You know, in the first round, we had to scramble and we had applicants who had actually applied for other jobs in the program. 
and we approached them and said, how would you like to consider going to a training course with the outcome that you will be an entry-level miner at Pueblo Mine? And these individuals accepted. Well, having learned from that and having seen what a wonderful opportunity this is, I asked all of our employees to forward names of individuals they thought would be excellent candidates for this training program and then to come to work as entry-level miners. We got overwhelming support. About 10 or 12 um, candidates were recommended and we've done interviews now and people are really enthused about this. They're so jazzed up about this opportunity. So I think it's wonderful for the state of Alaska. It's wonderful for the industry and certainly for all the individuals the program that we've put together here, I think it, because it encompasses all the different dynamics of, of workforce development, the successes are going to be apparent. And the companies, I believe, at some point will realize that this is a huge asset. That being able to do a hands-on, real-time uh, type of training, uh, focused training, uh, to develop these employees, I think is going to be priceless for this state. We need to get more of our local folks to work. That's our objective, is to put Alaskans to work.